What's up everybody, SPX here. So today we're having a look at Forsaken Isle. It's a 16-bit survival game and uh, basically what it is is it's a point and click game. You walk around, birds eye view of your character and it's survival. So the good things about the game include the graphics because everyone, almost everyone and anyone could play this game because it's got really really like graphics because it's got that pixelated look about it so it kind of looks like it was made from 1990 to 1999 somewhere around there so it's got that really even maybe even slightly earlier you know you can actually see the pixels and that's it's got that retro gaming look about it that's that was the whole point of the game so obviously any and all graphics cards could pretty much play the game and run it really smoothly then the other really cool thing i like about it is it's got this crafting system which yes all crafting systems are pretty much the same you got your input your output but it kind of has like this progressive discovery of new crafting recipes as you discover more things and put them together you discover more recipes instead of just finding out all the recipes all at once which is kind of a new thing so you can kind of see hey I have all the objects to craft this and you start running around trying to figure out how do you craft this so that's really exciting it gives the game a little bit of an edge and it's got loads of content there's so many things to craft in this game now there are some bad things to the game it's still an alpha. Now alpha games, you know, they're in development. The guy's still working on it. It's got his problems. It gets stuck. Some things don't work. So obviously, if you're not into alpha games and you're not willing to risk your money on it, albeit it isn't a very expensive game, that's also another good thing. I mean, it's not like it's a forty-dollar game, but it is an alpha, so you might end up being quite disappointed. So maybe just wait for the official release of the game. It's also got no walkthrough, so you don't learn how things work. And I found that a little bit annoying. I mean, I guess from a developer's perspective, I understand it because it's a lot of work to do to de design and develop a walkthrough as well. But it took me a while to figure out, like, how the hell does this game work? And once you do, it is quite interesting. And I guess maybe that's also part of the gameplay. And then, you know, while we're looking at the negative aspect of it, although it isn't graphics intensive, it's still got that pixelated look about it. So it's not like it's beautiful to look at. So if you're a person that really enjoys that crisp image, that anti-aliasing, that no screen tearing, nothing like that, then this game probably isn't for you. But that aside, that's not the point of the game. The point of the game is it's an old school retro looking game that's really fun and it's got some modern content in it. And of course, survival games are really popular. Anyway, thanks for watching. 